talk about growing balls and how to do them. A growing ball, which is this, is an intersection of two barrel balls. I'll show you how to do a growing ball out of drywall and partitions, uh, metal partitions. Uh, you can go online and find kits, but then you're constrained to the waiting time of getting them in and uh, question fabrication that you're going to have to have done. Right. Obviously, every room is a different size and you're going to have to accommodate to each room. So that means that you'll have to draw a set of plans and send it to the manufacturer and then you're going to have to cut it to size and send it to you. Also, the installation is going to have to be done by somebody who knows what they're doing and this is not something that's done every day in at least in South Florida. Ah. Past this threshold is a single barrel ball. Like I said before, two single barrel balls intersecting at 90 degrees on center make a growing ball, which is what this clip is about. At this stage of the construction, we have finished mudding with our compound and we're ready for sanding. After we've done sanding, we can start with our primer coat of paint. The first thing you have to do is cut out six arches out of three quarter inch ply. Once you do that, line the arches on both sides with either bendable track, which is very pricey, or you can cut one and five eighths inch track at regular intervals so that you can bend it. Make sure the cuts are evenly spaced so that you get a perfect arch when you start bending and screwing it down. Make sure you leave an opening where the arch intersects so that you can provide some lighting. After you do that, Start connecting the outside arches with the intersecting arches with aluminum hi-hats. Make sure you don't space them any more than 8 inches. Once you start screwing in the drywall, you're going to want to have enough screws to bend the drywall properly to create a perfect arch. What you're looking at now is a finished product after the one coat has been completed. Notice how we applied compound to the entire surface area of the drywall instead of just the screw bands. This is because the screw bands are spaced about 8 inches apart. We need to get this many screws in to the drywall so that we can bend it properly without scoring it. We don't try to bend any drywall thicker than half inch. Exterior growing balls are the same principle as interior growing balls as far as framing goes, except you're gonna have to use 20 gauge instead of 25 gauge metal so that it can withstand the weight of the wire lap and stubble. This is another great application for bolts. In this case, we decided to intersect three arches instead of four. Notice how we lined up the lighting with the top of the arch to create a real nice effect when we're done. This is what the framing looks like for our vaulted hallway. As you can see, it's the same principle as a growing vault, except it only has three sides.